With that sizzle, these butterfly drumsticks sound as good as they look. Hi, sweeties. Welcome to Sweet Savant. Yes, butterfly chicken drumsticks made in the Ninja Foodie Pro Grill. And it comes together real fast. Look how gorgeous. Oh, Y'all, please subscribe. And let's get into this recipe. Let's go over how to butterfly a chicken drumstick. Chicken drumsticks have a rounder side and a flatter side. We're gonna make an incision on the flatter side of the drumstick. So just lay it on your cutting board and make sure your cutting board is secured to your counter with a paper towel to help keep it from sliding around. We're gonna use the tip of a paring knife and make an incision about an inch above the bottom of the drumstick and just slice along the side of the bone not cutting through the other side of the meat. We don't want an incision on that other side of skin. And then we just use the tip of our knife to run it down, creating small incisions so that our drumstick will butterfly and open up flat. Pretty easy, not too bad. You see there are quite a lot of tendons inside a chicken drumstick. Some people like to remove these, but there are quite a few of them, and if you try to remove them all, you're just gonna tear up your chicken. Uh, I don't really bother with this, but I just wanted to show you in case you did, um, but it really does not interfere with eating the chicken. So it's pretty much that straightforward. You do want a very sharp knife because you wanna make a nice, clean, easy incision. Keep your fingertips out of the way, I don't want you to cut yourself and just kind of point that knife down and slice right next to the bone. Open it up then so you can see what you're doing and just use your knife to open that chicken drumstick up. And why would you want to butterfly a chicken drumstick? Well, it makes it cook so quickly. This is gonna cook in just about 10 or 12 minutes and you can season this chicken right down to the bone so flavorful so give it a try and see what you think if you like to try these butterflied chicken drumsticks and speaking of seasoning let's get this chicken thoroughly seasoned with kosher salt lemon pepper smoked paprika, a little cayenne pepper for some warmth, some chili powder. I'll put the, the recipe, all of this, in the description box so you can check that out for the amounts. A little bit of neutral oil, a little vegetable oil, grapeseed oil will be fine, canola oil if you like, and massage that in. Make sure it is seasoned inside, outside, and upside down under the skin, and then cover it and put it in the refrigerator for three hours or overnight. I'm using the Ninja Foodie Grill Pro, the grill setting on high, and it preheats for a few minutes, and this cooks from the top and the bottom, so this is gonna go fast, y'all. Our preheating is almost done. You can see the progress bar there. It's almost at the end. And when it is ready, it'll say add food, so that is what we're gonna do. Our grill is nice and hot so let's get our chicken drumsticks butterfly drumsticks yeah that's the sound you want to hear you want to hear that sizzle a nice hot grill pan and you want to press it down to make sure that our chicken is coming into good contact with that grill plate leave a little room for the hot air to circulate because again this cooks from the top and the bottom with hot circulated air as well as a heating element underneath this grill pan. So it's gonna go quick and you, know, you have to do a little, <laughs> a little bit of a Jenga, a little bit of figuring out to get all of those chicken drumsticks on there. But they fit six butterfly chicken drumsticks enough to feed the whole family. And remember, I already put oil on there when it was marinating, so we don't need to spray or anything. We need no additional oil. We set our cook time for 12 minutes, and halfway through cooking, the Ninja Foodie Pro Grill lets us know it's time to flip 
the chicken. So it'll give us a little beep. We'll check it, flip it over. It's looking good. It's looking really good. Let's turn that chicken over. And I'm using a pair of tongs with a silicone tip so that we don't scratch any of the nonstick surface on our Ninja Foodie Pro grill. And these are OXO uh, Good Grips tongs. I'll put a link to these in the description box. I really am a fan of OXO products. Once we cook this for about another four minutes, it's going to be time to add some sauce. Yeah, we're close to done. So we're going to add our sweet barbecue sauce by Kaivan, one of my favorite brands. Look, you don't have to cook everything yourself. You don't have to make your own sauce. Find yourself a good local brand, a small business that you like to support and buy their products. It'll save you time and it'll help out a small local business. Kaivan is local here in Georgia and I am so happy to support them and share their products. This sweet barbecue glaze is going to go really good with the smoky, a little bit warm heat from the seasoning, the cayenne and the chili powder that we put on our chicken. Y'all, this is going to be good. Let's turn this over. It's just about done. We're going to give it about another two minutes just to get that uh, sauce charred on, cooked on, give us a little bit of a glaze. It probably would have been smart for me to wear a glove as I'm doing this because this Ninja Foodie Grill is still cooking. You know, it cooks from the top and the bottom and you can cook with the grill open or closed. So be aware of that. It can get a little hot over there. Not too bad, but it is still cooking. And you can see, look at the sauce just bubbling there. Oh, it's going to be so good. Let's give that chicken a flip and see what we're working with. Beautiful. Look at those grill marks. And our grill is still hot, so it's going to continue to cook that sauce on the other side while we do a little bit of garnish. Yeah, that's so pretty. So we are going to grab some pickled jalapenos to add a little more heat, a little more spice, and a little more tangy sweetness to it. And these are my own homemade pickled jalapenos. I have a video for this too, and I'll put a link to that so you can try making these for yourself. These are so good. Like we put these on everything. Chicken, hot dogs, put it on your pasta. Come on now, tacos, man. Put some in your guacamole. So good. A little green onion. And this is dressed and ready to go, honey. What are you going to eat this with? I'm serving it with some yellow rice cooked with some green beans. I mean, it would be so tasty with a little slaw maybe. A little slaw on the side. Mm, it's so good. Look at that butterfly and ready to go. Let's take a bite. Mm, juicy, delicious. I think you're really going to like this one. Butterfly chicken drumsticks. You can make them outside on the grill or you can make them inside on the grill like I did with the Ninja Foodie Pro Grill. You'll love it. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and y'all have a delicious day.